juste une remarque personnelle. Vous ne trouvez pas ça génial quand ça marche L'exposé qu'on a eu tout à l'heure est lumineux. Je me demande pourquoi on se, on se prive de ça. Bref, euh, on méditera peut-être là-dessus tout à l'heure tous ensemble. Moi, je suis venu vous parler de, de ce que j'essaye de faire, c'est-à-dire... Je suis venu vous dire de ce que j'essaye de faire, c'est-à-dire... Je suis to put it at the service of an environmental message, reconciliation between humans and nature, based essentially on emotion, scientific mediation. Maybe I can introduce myself in a nutshell. I studied the systems between uh, living beings and, uh, and, and nature. Uh, most at random, I started with cinema, and uh, one time I went to the Antarctic, and then I shot La Marche de l'Empereur, which was incredibly and unexpectedly successful. And after that, I wondered, how can I reconcile both the, my, my conscience of, of ecology and something that can uh, influence the world? I've been lucky enough to go to the most beautiful places on Earth. I can see how uh, the world is uh, uh, really uh, uh, running out, how my children might not have the possibility to see the beauties I have, uh, the depths of a number of species. And I also was working with scientists saying, we like the way you convey knowledge, you convey emotion, because it makes us more audible. We very often feel betrayed by the media because they oversimplify. So this is the base on which I started working, and I created an NGO, which is now six-year-old, called Wild Touch, uh, which is on a number of things I'll mention later on. And what do we do at Wild Touch? We try to, because of course, when you shoot documentaries, you are in a different, uh, uh, you're in, in uh, strange paradoxes. You know, you do things that people find interesting. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, people rather go and see uh, fiction films. Uh, this is the uh, vegetable soup paradox, I call it. Uh, people would rather go and eat burgers and, and, and see a, a fiction film than uh, go and see a documentary. No. Uh, not long ago, I shoot a, a film called La Glace and the Ciel, the Eye in the Sky, which tells about Claude Laurius. You might not know him. He's the one who discovered in uh, uh, the uh, Antarctic, in the ice, that uh, in the air bubble in the Antarctic, there was a climatic message that would uh, that enabled us to predict climatic change. I worked with the ice specialists. They have uh, worked a lot to uh, make this film. The film was uh, uh, released. And uh, that scientists wanted to use this film for conferences. Uh, but uh, I couldn't give them because I, I didn't own the copyrights. And I made UCN, WWF, big NGOs that uh, really have a, a, an impact on uh, conservation, uh, conservation matters. And they tell us, we need images. Can you give us images? You shoot uh, in fantastic places. You have uh, great technicians, real talents. Could you give us? images that we could use. And I said, no, because I do not hold the copyright. So what did we do with Wild Touch? We tried to invent a prototype which uh, is very much uh, along the line of what you hear in the area of positive economy, mm, try and mix up what shouldn't, uh, that went uh, uh, mixable, went mixable, profit and non-profit, in order to be able to tell a fantastic story uh, 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 through the cinema, but also support scientists, uh, educate and support big NGOs as the ones I just quoted. Of course, it's not easy, because it means uh, bringing together water and oil, people who are not able to work together, getting together uh, legal elements that are not used to uh, collaborate. And we have reached a stage now through over five years uh, where we have something that works roughly. So Wild Dutch now entered the chain of copyrights of the copyrights of my films in order to be able to use these films for philanthropy 
uh, in a place like this, in scientific uh, uh, congresses, because my films, for example, The Ice and the Sky, the uh, Claude Russe and, and, and uh, Climate Warming. Uh, I also shot a film uh, on the forest of Francis Allais, who has been uh, uh, working for decades to save um, forests. And so when you show a film, it's an opportunity to bring people together in a, uh, a theater to get them to travel through your film and to uh, 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 favor to promote debate uh, that goes beyond it's no good to drive a car. So it enabled us above all to work on education to invest in order to invest in a future generation. That might seem something you hear all the time, but when you're in cinema, you're talking to kids about climate change and that seven-year-old girl that say, but what's going to happen with this? What can we do? You cannot leave these kids alone. You have to give them tools. You have to give them elements to understand these complex systems. And sometimes it's frightening, as Jacques Attali said earlier, but you need to help them understand and you need to give them and the teachers means to talk to these children. And we have this know-how we used to mediate. Uh, we, there's a, a nice word now which is called edutainment between education and entertainment. Uh, and, uh, entertainment. Uh, I'm not sure I would have chosen it, but well. It comes in handy. Through getting into this uh, uh, chain of copyrights, we've set up uh, uh, on the websites with the no copyrights, and it works. We have about uh, 2,000 uh, single visitors every week. We give media, literally. And finally, we can support all the scientists who need this uh, material now. So we are working on a, on a synergy base. We are working in a collaborative way. Uh, we have images. Scientists produce knowledge. This knowledge enables us to tell stories, to support the uh, education system. And we uh, managed to produce something that's positive and help us to make headway in uh, raising awareness to, uh, for the reconciliation of, uh, of human beings with the planet on which we live. I talked about primary forests. I talked about the uh, climate change. Now we are working on a 10-year uh, program, the Flow of Five, which uh, is a plea for diversity, because I think this is going to be one of the big problems on this planet. It is a, a program which we decided to work on over 10 years. We are uh, working on this with the media ecosystem, which have uh, already used, because I, my principle is that you use a topic under different perspectives in different ways to target different audiences. People on the web are not the people that go to uh, exhibitions, that uh, watch television, that uh, go to the cinema. So we are trying to reach out to as many people as possible, so to uh, be able to uh, have economy of sales uh, scale, but also to reach as many people as possible. So uh, the uh, challenge now is uh, how do we get this to work? It's easy enough to find money for a project. But it's much more difficult to find uh, finances for the uh, uh, charity base or, or uh, uh, area. Uh, thanks to Jacques Attali, thanks to all the people in this room, we are trying to work with the tools of positive economy, particularly financial tools, in order to try over the, uh, to try to, to enable Wild Touch to work not only on a project base, but uh, in a more long-term way in order to go on uh, scouting for talents and do better what we have already started doing. This is it. I hope uh, this has given you an idea of what we are doing, and I hope uh, you will have a number of examples of this type of action today. Thank you.